So what is the lifetime value of a new client for your business? Basically, this question means that when you convert a new paying customer that you never had before, how much money, how much revenue is that person driving on their first conversion of doing business with you? And then over the life of your service, how many times will that person become a repeat customer? So for example, if a dental office brings in a new prospective patient, for example, that needs a checkup and let's say a teeth whitening service that potentially only generates two to three hundred dollars for the dental office. But now what this means is that this prospect has turned into a, a paying customer and if the service is done the right way, then that person potentially needs to come in for a teeth cleaning two times so that one over the course of a year so that one time payment now multiplied by two over the course of one year went from two hundred dollars to four or five or six hundred dollars when the investment to acquire that one new patient was x so basically you doubled your gross revenue for a, a yearly patient and then in the middle of the year if he needs any other services that obviously add additional value and additional gross revenue for your business, now it becomes an exponential return over the course of one year. Now, if that patient becomes a lifelong customer, not even taking into account referrals or word of mouth by him sharing his experience with, with his friends and potentially getting referrals that way, where obviously that becomes an exponential return on that one new patient that was basically achieved through a marketing campaign, what happens over the course of two, three, four, five years, or even longer, when you invested, let's say, $500 to acquire that one new pro that one new paying uh, customer, basically, but that becomes uh, a, a, an exponential return as that person continues to come back, but the cost of acquisition was $500. So maybe the first year, you didn't make back all the money if the person only came in for the two basic services that you know every dental patient really should you know uh go through but every year thereafter that person becomes a positive revenue positive net income off of the initial investment that you made to the marketing campaign to acquire that new client for your business now every single business is different but if you can estimate the value of acquisition for every new basically prospect that converts into a paying customer for your business, regardless of what, what type of business you have, which we can do that type of math. If each client is $500 acquisition, how much money does that person bring into you over the course of that first conversion? Is there an opportunity for them to come back for your business for you to make additional income? And obviously the, the referral opportunities that exist if that person has a great experience with you and then goes tells his friends and family therefore growing the return on your initial investment that it took to acquire that new client for your business so the lifetime value of a new person doing business with you is something that is very important to keep in mind when determining how much money you want to invest at the beginning of your marketing campaign and really just in general if it makes sense to invest money into marketing because every single person that you bring in to your business should have some form of recurring revenue either by way of repeat business or by way of referral so that is the lifetime value conversation that I wanted to have today. If you want to discuss any digital marketing needs for your business, if you've been thinking about how much money to spend, if you've been putting money on the sidelines and kind of just been hesitant to, to, to leap forward and, and kick off your marketing campaigns, just click the link below. We can set up a free 30 minute strategy call, discuss your business specifically, discuss what we can do for your business, discuss the investment into the marketing campaigns, what it takes, what's involved, and then how do we make money off of that investment. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.